Uh, so the aim of this video is to explain uh, how to make sample size calculation for uh, a randomized control trial. And uh, in the first scenario here, we have a randomized control trial assessing the impact of physical therapy as adjuvant uh, treatment to biological agent for patients with ankylosing spondylitis. Okay, so the primary endpoint of this study is the medical cost uh, of the treatment after 12 months. And we have a previous study uh, where the medical cost is in these two groups were uh, as follow. So uh, to calculate this sample size on stata, we should go to statistics, power and sample size calculation. Then compare, compare two groups. Comparing one mean to another. No, I want comparing two, two groups. Comparing two means. Uh, have a pair test. No, not a pair test. Just comparing two independent means. Yes, pair test. No, we are comparing two independent means. Okay. We want to calculate the sample size, total sample size, and we have a power of 80%. And the allocation ratio between the two groups is one. So the two groups should be equal. If we have 100 patients in this group, so we will have 100 patients in the other group. Okay. Um, the mean and the standard deviation, the mean and the standard deviation of the uh, control group uh, and the experimental group. So we will go here and take this. This is uh, the physical therapy group. This is the experimental. Um, this is the standard deviation. Oh, this is the standard deviation of the experimental. Okay. This is the sample size. This is the mean of the control group. This is a standard deviation. Okay. Okay. And then, uh, we select a two-sided hypothesis. Means that one of the one of these two groups, one of them might be superior to the other. The control might be superior to the experimental, or the experimental might be superior to the control. So our our hypothesis will work on the two ways. Okay. And then submit. The software will run the analysis here and we will find the solution. Uh, the total sample size is 2,074 patients and the sample size per group is 1,037 uh, patients. Okay, uh, let's see the other scenario. Um, we want to calculate a sample size for an randomized control trial comparing drug X against placebo for the treatment of rheumatoid arthritis with an 80% power and 5% margin of error under a two-sided hypothesis. Okay, so the primary endpoint of this RCT is efficacy measured by the GAS28 uh, score and there is no previous studies uh, comparing drug X versus drug Y versus placebo. Uh, in the literature. So, uh, as we know that to calculate the sample size, we should have the expected effect size from this study. And to obtain the expected effect size, we can perform a pilot study or we can obtain this value from a previous uh, study in the literature or we can um, get an estimation for this study from the from expert opinion. However, this is not recommended because a, a lot of bias might be introduced and it will not be easy for you to justify the expected effect size um, uh, if you are applying for funding uh, and the protocol is being evaluated, reviewed, uh, if you are submitting your manuscript for a journal, so sample size calculation might not be uh, justified uh, very well if you depended on uh, expert opinion. So the best solution uh, that I usually prefer to do is to calculate the sample size based on minimum clinically important difference, MCID. So for this score, 
So we need to find uh, the mean and the standard deviation of the population on this score, and we should find the minimum clinically important difference that can happen on this score to, um, to, to, to uh, so, so the improvement can be pronounced on this patient. So uh, I, 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 I searched Google using uh, DAS. Uh, 28 score minimum clinically important difference and there are many many studies here that we're using this but I selected this one which was a clinical trial registered on clinical trial the GOV and I want here uh, I have searched control F and I have searched for minimum clinically important difference I found this statement that the disease activity score DAS 28 score um, a score of more than 1.2 is considered the minimum clinically important difference so here I will go to uh, the sample size calculation I will go to the sample size calculation and uh, yes okay uh, and I will calculate based on the difference, not based on the experimental and the control. And here we have another problem that we do not have the mean uh, of the experimental, the mean of the control group. We have the mean, but we do not have the standard deviation. So what will be the standard deviation? We should obtain the main DAS score for patients with rheumatoid arthritis from any clinical trial, even if the patient were not receiving this treatment and we're, we're receiving another treatment. So I downloaded a clinical trial or, or uh, yes, Yes, a prospective study, uh, any prospective study for this population. And here I found that the mean and standard deviation of the population uh, were 6.1 and 1.2, 6.3 and 1.2. So I will consider 6.2, the average between both groups, 6.2 as the mean and 1.2 as the standard deviation for this population. Okay, and I will go to the sample size calculation again, assuming that the uh, that the DS score at the baseline or for the control group will be 6.2. This is at the baseline. This is at the baseline and not uh, uh, in the end point. Okay. Uh, okay. 6.2 and the standard deviation will be 1.2. The difference between the two groups will be. This is the minimum clinically important difference. 1.2. Okay. Sample size uh, allocation ratio. Uh, is 1 and significance level 0 0.05 and the power is 0 0.8 and one side by bushel and submit then we will go to software to see here the sample size required for this study will be uh, 34 patients and the sample size required per group will be 17 okay so again in summary to calculate the sample size using stata you should go to statistics then select power and sample size calculation there are many many equations that can be used and they are classified based on population parameters or based on the outcome based on the analysis type based on the sample uh, they are all the same but they are classified uh, four times according to uh, according to the parameter okay uh, and you can search from here i usually prefer to search here and compare uh, comparing proportions for example proportions okay if you are comparing the mortality for example the risk of mortality between two groups so you will go for the two independent proportions um, so to calculate the sample size from stata you should go to the statistics and power and sample size calculation and remember that to calculate the sample size you should have uh, you should have the expected effect size which uh, is usually uh, present in the literature we can obtain this value from previous studies uh, but if you do not have a previous study you can perform a pilot study uh, you can or you can calculate based on the minimum clinically important difference which is very good and can be justified for your uh, research project that you calculated the sample size to detect at least the minimum clinically important difference that can occur to this uh, in these patients uh, okay so see you uh, in the next video